Oh, this is nice. I'm ready to get started. I always told myself, I'm, I never consider myself good until I do it to the highest, in the highest level for consistency. But if you're in high school, you balling, college, you doing good. In NFL, when you get the NFL, you doing the same thing. Okay, now you can do it. Now you can do the talk. Actually, my brother started playing football before me. Uh, see, so watching him play football, I always wanted to play. I used to. I used to, after his football practice, I used to throw his shoulder pads on and him and on and go in the mirror and look at myself and tap my helmet and hit my shoulder pads. But my mom ain't never let me play until like the seventh grade because I was so scrawny and little. But the seventh grade, she ain't had no choice because I kept begging her. Jerry definitely immediately showed his passion. He has been passionate since he was like six or seven. It just, it just in me, I guess. It just, I, son, I just, I just want to be the best. Just the excitement, the energy, and the, the bond, like being on a football team and like having another family. Also, like, I just like making plays and it's just excitement. That's something I enjoy doing. It's a downfield shot. Jerry Judy, the target. He's got Jerry it. Judy, and there he goes. Goodbye, Judy. What an effort. My little sister, Aaliyah, she definitely was our entire family's why. Um, I think in order for you to strive or want more, you have to have a why. And for Jerry, she, the adversity that our entire family went through with having a little sister with special needs definitely like shaped us all, <laughs> but especially Jerry, that she was his why. See, like when, my, when I found out my sister passed, my coach was telling me like, you can have a week off of practice. I'm like, if I have a week off of practice, that I'm all, all I'm gonna be thinking about is my sister. So when, once I, I'm on the field, I, I don't think about nothing but what I got to do on the field. And how did it feel when you made that promise in 2016 on Twitter and then draft day came around? Uh, it felt good just knowing um, I made a promise to my sister and I ain't break that promise. I achieved that promise and now I have an ability to take care of my family. Uh, remarkable feeling. Yeah, you gotta drink the whole thing. Now how you get big? You wanna get big? You wanna get big? Let me see the muscles. Let me see the muscles. Let me see the muscles. Don't ask shy now. Uh, you wanna ask shy? They they very excited for me. You know they know this is something I love doing. Uh, I've been doing it since I was 14. Uh, so now that they see me like living my dreams and being able to play at the highest level now, uh, they I know they very excited for me. Draft day, I worked out. Then after, I was just chilling at the house all day till it was time to get drafted. Oh, they bought me! Oh, they just bought Chilling with the family, we was cooking, eating, laughing until the big day. It was a crazy feeling. A uh, lot of joy, a lot of relief. From where I'm from, it's, it's really different. From where I'm from, Florida, it's really different. But I'm just trying to get adjusted to the environment, seeing how everything is around here. Uh, I've been in Denver like three, four days now. Altitude here is like going up the stairs. You, you see them stairs in the house? Going up them stairs, like you really got to take a knee and catch your breath. I be about to pass out going up the stairs. It's like, it hits you like a once in a while. Like, It'll just hit you like out of nowhere. You'll just lose your breath. You just got to catch it. But it's something you got to get used to. Probably take a couple of weeks to get used to. So if it's not mandatory, yeah, are you out here every day working out? Like, oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah. I just don't, don't want to be out here just sitting down. Like, that's how you getting better by sitting down. So I just want to do everything, just do something productive to make me become a better player. Because there's somebody out there working on probably harder or uh, you'll never know. There's somebody out there working. I know that. And I know I'm out there working too. So ain't nobody gonna outwork me. I 
feel like my biggest setback is during this corona time, not being able to have mini camp, OTAs, stuff like that. Cause we 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 missing out on a lot of reps, a lot of mental reps. Once we get, I feel like once we get to like everything back to normal, once we all come together as a team and and start practicing again, I feel like it'll be back better. This is the longest I went without playing football, so it feel weird a little bit. All I do is play football, so not being able to play football for this long is like getting me aggravated. <laughs> I really ain't feel no pressure being like a high recruit. I have tremendous confidence in myself to be a good football player. I've been playing all my life and I worked hard to be the best player I could be. So I ain't never feel like pressured or anything. You know, square one, you gotta earn your respect. Starting over again, that's like, I like that because that's like a new challenge I gotta face. I gotta earn everybody trust. And that's something uh, I enjoy doing. It's, it's, it's a challenge for me. So am I gonna achieve that challenge or am I gonna fail? Well, I'm not gonna fail.